Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. It's been... It's been pretty good lately. Um, we got, you know, 50% carried, 50% we did the heavy lifting. This looks very familiar right now. We had a seed that started very similar to this. Uh, and, you know, I, I, this is not a seeded run. Um, but we had a seed that looked very similar to this that started recently with that weird, like, really full of rocks room right at the very beginning. I'm having some serious deja vu here. Deja vu, but hopefully... Um, this is not the same seed, or hopefully it is, and it'll be funny. But in any case, yeah, last run as Blue Baby. Anytime you have a Blue Baby run that's a victory, you get carried a little bit. You know, you, it's hard to win a Blue Baby run just on your own merits alone, is my philosophy, at least. Um, but uh, it was a good one. I had a good time on it. Had to use some smart tactics. Sorry, I was covering up a disgusting belch there that I didn't want you to hear. Um, and, oh, I thought maybe I could kick that one over here. I really don't want to use a bomb for this, because... There's a chance we could bomb our way into one of the item rooms, but having some spirit hearts will protect me from, um, you know, the, the odds of losing a deal with the devil on this first floor, which is more important probably than any secret room or any individual item room. Anyway, we'll see. We're on, I, I hesitate to call it the streak, because it's still very, very early, but we've won, um, you know, somewhere in the vicinity of six or seven or eight in a row, and, and that makes me feel very, very good about uh, about my skills lately, because there was a period where we, we couldn't lose, you know, we were Parker fucking Lewis, and then there was a period where we were John Tucker, fucking, you know, John Tucker must die, Parker Lewis can't lose, I'd rather be Parker Lewis, but um, we're, we're kind of coming back into that Parker Lewis phase, I would say, I hope at least, and um, this floor is a little bit, it's oriented weirdly so far, I'm really hoping that we end up picking up uh, some item rooms sooner rather than later, because as of right now, we're not really getting anything of benefit. There's some interesting, you know, trade-offs and choices that have just appeared, though. Do we open this golden chest, or do we save our key and maybe use it on an item room or a shop on the next floor? Uh, or do we open it and maybe get enough money to go to the item room or the shop? Maybe you get keys out of it, maybe you get an item out of it. Fuck it, I don't know, maybe we end up getting enough money to play Judgment, and Judgment gives us enough money and keys to go to the shop. I, I really, sincerely have no idea. There's another key, so we will actually be opening that golden chest. Sometimes those uh, tricky problems re resolve themselves, you know? That's a dangerous mindset to get in. Got a problem? I'll just, you know, wait on it. It'll go away. Now, what do we have? Poison Touch. Poison Touch is an interesting one. Let's see what this is. That's bad. This is still the same instance of Isaac uh, as a slightly earlier run. Well, we got, that was well worth opening at least. Um, like the last three runs will have been on the same, the same instance here, so I'm not gonna reroll Poison Touch. I don't think we're gonna get many rerolls on this floor anyway. More bombs for me. So why don't we save our rerolls for, um, you know, more pressing matters. This is, ugh, do we reroll 10 bombs? I don't think we reroll 10 bombs. I, I think both of these items are okay enough that I can take them. Like, Poison Touch, I don't want to reroll so early. So we will probably end up picking it up, but I'm not going to pick it up just yet, just in case I have a change of heart or something. But anyway, let's let's fight our bosses here. Um, very weird kind of assortment of items on the first floor. Very, you know, the, the first floor felt kind of strange uh, the entire way through, but so far so good. We'll see what our items are here. Uh, it's possible that if I get Pageant Boy, I wouldn't reroll it because we could make good use of either the shop or even uh, Judgment on this floor, or maybe even both. So uh, we'll consider that, and maybe that would be a, a more pressing area to use our rerolls. Because as is, I would say we got decent items from our item rooms, and you know nobody's gonna win a run just by stacking decent items up over and over. Oh, that was so bad. But uh, oh, okay, that was way worse. You're not supposed to take two hits of damage against um, against Gemini. That being said, um, as long as we don't take damage against the next phase or like the second part of this boss, I think we're totally fine. Coat hanger. I pick up Coat Hanger. Lots of people say I'm an idiot for picking up Coat Hanger. I apologize, but I keep doing it. Um, with 14 bombs, I think it's okay to use a bomb right here. That was pretty good. Now we'll just try not to get hit, and I think our chances of getting a deal with the devil are going to be quite high. Uh, it's not fair. It, last time I checked, it's against international regulations to phase over top of, uh, you know, igneous rock like that. So if you could just uh, you obey the laws of physics next time, Larry Jr., that would be lovely. Yeah, okay, you're, you're freaking me out, you fucking ghost worm. All right, well, that's our reroll. We're, uh, truth be told, it's not so bad, I guess. We got a range upgrade to compensate for our range downgrade, but it's kind of unfortunate. So, we didn't get Pageant Boy. We're going to end up uh, picking up Poison Touch. We're going to end up shooting all of the poop that we can possibly come across. If we get another reroll, we're using it on the range upgrade. Probably. This is good. So now I have to decide. Come on. 
Well, let's let's finish off these rooms first. Then I decide if I play Judgment or if I, you know, waste possibly a lot of bombs looking for the secret room in order to fight uh, or in order to go to that shop. You know, we are on an XL floor. Well, this is the last room, so we'll decide pretty quickly. We are on an XL floor, which means that um, we're, you know, one shop in the hole, basically, from what you would normally consider to be the number of shops that you would get on a run guaranteed not to have greed. So I would very much enjoy going to this shop. If it's possible, we found our secret room very quickly. And we get a one-up. So this doesn't give us any more money. So we only have six cents. And with six cents, I think our uh, our play is we play Judgment. And it's possible the Judgment will pay out. It's possible that we'll be throwing six cents down the drain. We'll see. In the meantime, I'm going to rehydrate a little bit here. It's a hot day. If nothing else, six cents for one key is an okay trade. So even if he gives us nothing else, I'm okay. But he gave us more HP, so that's all right. Um, let's let's leave. There are you know too many second secret room opportunities here. Very interesting floor. Not really thrilled with the outcome, but also can be too salty. We got an HP upgrade, a tiers upgrade, a one up. Range is probably a little bit higher than usual because usually the upgrades are more proportional than the downgrades, or like worth more than the downgrades. Plenty of keys, a couple of spirit hearts to back us up, which hopefully will translate into a. Uh, a deal with the devil offer on this floor, or a deal with the angel, because again, you know, this is the same instance that we've had uh, a few deals with the, the angel on so far. Good damage so far, as you can see. It only took us uh, seven or eight hundred shots to kill that uh, champion ball sack fly there. We are on the catacombs, so it's, you know, it's going to be a little tougher, you would expect. And this floor is probably not the most important moment on this entire run, but an important moment. Oh, I thought I'd be fine. Uh, an important moment for us to start uh, getting up to speed, you know. We, we need to pick up some damage here. Well, we'd like to pick up some damage here. We'd like to pick up some, you know, added uh, normal benefits or abnormal benefits, I should say, like the ability to fly, tier effects, yada yada. Um, but we don't really have too much control over that until we at least come across these rooms and can do something with them. So that curse room is definitely going to be visited, but we're going to save it till the end of the floor because I want to maximize our ability to uh, have spirit hearts and thus probably not lose red hearts prior to the boss at least. Uh, yeah, okay, Magic Mushroom, we're getting a lot of uh, all stats upgrades lately, but Magic Mushroom, one of the best items in the game, uh, I mean, it's up there, it's not Polyphemus Mom's Knife level, but it's certainly top like 10%, so I'm stoked to have that, a Blood Bank on this floor is super awesome, Gertie Jr. is terrible for us, but um, everything else has been coming up Millhouse so far on this floor, except for the fact that it is the catacombs as opposed to the caves, and maybe, just maybe, we don't take damage on this fight, and we end up getting out of this floor, um, with, with a deal with the devil, and we get a spirit heart for this, and we get whatever... We get an HP upgrade and a spirit heart, so that's great! I mean, that's good stuff, but, uh, it sucks that we didn't get, um, the deal with the devil or angel when I felt that we kind of deserved it. But, what I feel, uh, is not necessarily meaningful relative to what the game decides. So, we're gonna get enough money to go to the shop here for sure. Obviously, the HP plus speed upgrade is on my, uh, I got my eye on it. And... Well, it's a lot of money. If nothing else, it's a lot of money, and we'll be able to play it some more, and this is all good. Let's lose a Spirit Heart. A little risky, but worth it. Hey, we didn't lose a Spirit Heart. We actually gained a Spirit Heart, which is nice, considering how much I hurt myself to get to that point to begin with. But, yeah, this this shop is uh, it's an important moment for us. Shouldn't be a huge floor. We'll probably look for the Secret Room. May well uh, look for the second Secret Room as well. And if it's an Eternal Heart, well, we'll probably abandon our Blood Bank, um, you know, Manifest Destiny there, but it's all right. That's okay. It's not even a compromise. That would actually be a good thing. Because we've got enough money to make two shops worthwhile, which is probably about the average number of shop items that you end up, uh, you know, being able to get on a run anyway. So, I'd, I'd say we're a little bit ahead of the curve right now. More red hearts uh, never hurt anybody. Sucks that we won't be able to go to the mob trap room, I think. Maybe if we stack up, like, as much HP as possible we can. Map is a no-brainer. Uh, I think we definitely buy that for two cents, no question about that, and um, we can't quite go in there, so you know what, I'm going to spend five more cents on this, and that should give us enough to go into that mob trap room, uh, which costs a key to open, so I just can't feel good about that anymore. Uh, but there's our secret room, so let's check that out, and then we'll look for second secret rooms probably, because there's not too many different locations where it could be. Good, I'm, I'm content with that, three more cents. I did spend a lot of money here. But it, it was worth it to keep me alive, I'd say. Let's look for our second secret rooms here. Could be here. Was indeed there. Oh, that's exactly what I was looking for. Okay. So we will get a lot of plays on this blood bank now. 
which is exactly what I wanted. And if nothing else, we'll be leaving with the same amount of health we had before we found that second secret room. One less bomb, but way more money again. And we also bought the map, so this is going to pay for it in, you know, no time flat. Plus the possibility of the HP speed upgrade. Or we get the IV bag and we just knock it out of the rotation and we re-roll, um... We re-roll it into something potentially beneficial. I can't believe it hasn't paid out yet, to be honest with you. Uh, as we make our way down here, I'm going to rehydrate again. And uh, we are running out of red hearts, admittedly. Worst case scenario, though, we're leaving with like 48 cents. This will take us exactly where we want to be. Yeah, that is exactly where we want to be, actually. And if I have to go to the down to the next floor, existing entirely on spirit hearts, I'm happy to do it. Sincerely. Our money situation is, uh, is totally sorted for us here. Just work with me, though. Like, please pay out with something. I don't care if it's the IV bag. I just don't want this to be entirely in vain, considering how much I invested in you. Like, four full HP bars. It's getting kind of ridiculous. Well, shit, dude, the night's always darkest before the dawn, right? Let's, uh, let's try this out. Uh, and we'll give you one more. It's all I got, man. I'm giving you one more spirit heart, just because I feel, you know, I feel bad for you, man. I feel bad for you that you gotta treat people like this. Alright, well, you made your bed, now you get to explode in it. And it's time for us to leave, I would say. That was unfortunate, but apart from that, this floor has turned out very well. Magic mushroom, killer upgrade, oh man, this is awesome. Uh, so, yeah, we'll definitely buy mom's purse. We'll definitely buy that red heart. Uh, we have so much money, I don't think there's a reason not to buy a pill. Sure, and we got a key as well. Weird location for the secret room, but yeah, that was, that was really good. Now we have uh, extra trinket potential. We have another uh, uh, blood bank. If you're hearing like a ghost whispering there, it's just my chair. Don't worry about it too much. But uh, yeah, it's just my chair whispering. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll play that, but we want to get our red hearts back first, obviously. Gamble a little bit to get keys if necessary as well. I'm really, really hoping that we manage to snag like a deal with the devil on this floor, but I guess... He Along the same lines as the deal with the devil, or at the same level as the deal with the devil, I'm really hoping that we can get some vindication and actually get a blood bank to pay out. Because, man, we played that last one like 33 times and it didn't pay out. That might be an exaggeration, but it certainly felt like 33 times. Okay, uh, yeah, extra spirit arts. Always lovely. We'll check for... No, there's no second secret room happening here, but a bomb for a key in our current situation is great. I don't know why, but I got a hankering to become Guppy on this run. Like, I feel strong. I feel like a Guppy, uh, you know, Guppy is is possible. We're not even close yet, but it's possible, and I think it would be a lot of fun. It always is, but I feel like it would be even more fun than usual, maybe. Tears downgrade. Sucks pretty hard. Oh, well. Shears it is. Watch out for that fire. Can get a little ornery sometimes. Again, Shears is terrible, but we re-roll it into homing bombs, and I'm going to take them. I am. We might have more re-rolls, but uh, I'm not going to be too picky about it. I don't worry about min-maxing so much anymore, although there are some min-maxing tactics that, that work out very nicely. Mostly just worried about, um, you know, is it good enough? Especially when it comes to the reroll. It's very easy to, you know, like, grass is greener on the other side syndrome, uh, fuck you out of some halfway decent items, and this has been a run so far where we're just stacking up decent items, and the more decent items you have, the better decent items become in the future, I suppose, but we have, uh, you know, a big opening <laughs> for some better items. Let's try to blow up the slot machine and uh, get access to the secret room here. Goat hoof? Sure. We, we might as well take it. That's a speed upgrade. And a little bit more money that we can't possibly use right now. Certainly we would expect to be fighting greed on the next floor. Not a special room. Which is a shame because I was really hoping that eventually we'd come across a boss trap room. We've had so many uh, blood banks that I, I thought it would have been, you know, nice. But I guess the troll engine doesn't always function on niceness, does it? Don't get that close to those guys. That's a that's a terrible strategy on my behalf. Should know better by now. So we're gonna get one more reroll, and we should get a reroll after the boss as well. But we don't have anything to use these on right now, so I guess we're just gonna fight our way up here. That's fine. All right, I'm very pleased with the way this room started, at least. And you dead? Cool. Who do we have? Chub. I have some homing bombs, so I wouldn't mind using those to make my life a little easier. Normally a little bit more cautious about using bombs so early, but it's fine. I really should have used bombs there. I didn't because I was like, he's almost dead. Well, we got an HP upgrade at least from that eternal heart. And we got the crate, which I don't reroll. I like it enough, especially now that I have Maggie's Faith. 
Okay, what is this? That's the moon, which takes us directly to the secret room, which is worthless. That's a tears downgrade. Well, um, Maggie's faith is great, so that that makes me feel great about picking up uh, about picking up that uh, cardboard box to begin with. I like the cardboard box anyway, though. Like, I, I don't reroll it anymore. A lot of people, it, it's one of those items that when people take issue with stuff that I actually like in game, they do take issue with that. But I think uh, I think the cardboard box is underrated, man. Spirit Heart is almost as valuable as time goes on, at least almost as valuable as a, a red heart. If you're short on keys, it helps out a lot. Uh, it gives you basically one of every consumable. And the reason I take it mainly is just because the pill and the trinket can really, really be beneficial. Anyway, obviously we're going to the uh, arcade here before we pick up that eternal heart. I'll try not to forget that eternal heart like I forgot one on the last run. And I'm feeling like this is going really well so far. Um, of course, could always be better, but I'm I'm happy with it. We have a reroll ready, and we're gonna use that uh, on um, on the blood bank if it pays out with the IV bag. Otherwise, we're gonna save it till the next floor. And I didn't use any rerolls on this floor, which is I guess always good when that happens. But sure. As for okay, well, it's an interesting one because you never feel like you should reroll the dollar, right? But we should reroll the dollar. Thank God for that right there. Um, yeah, it's it's not a good pickup for us right now considering how much money we have and you know how easy it's been for us to get money to begin with on this run. So at the very least I'm extremely thankful to have a reroll pedestal there. So we're going to be doing a lot of gambling here. You know, this is not going to be your uh, best ever time in the Binding of Isaac speed run or anything like that. Come on. I don't care if you never pay out with anything else although the keys are nice. Um, just pay out with the red hearts. That's all that matters. What about this one? Uh okay, I mean the keys again. It's nice. And if we get down to like 20 cents, that's how long I'm going to play. That's going to be like two minutes, yeah. If we get down to 20 cents, I will, uh, I will re-roll. Well, that's not true. I will blow up the, uh, slot, or the three-headed man, and then I will re-roll. So, it's taking our time here. Man, I would love to have Bloody Penny instead of Goat Hoof. It makes this Blood Bank situation so easy. But this is the most unlucky I've gotten with, uh, Blood Banks in, in a long, long time. So, I am cheating the system a little bit and not picking up the money it's giving me because I really just want to get down to 20 cents as quickly as possible. We'll pick that up when we leave. Okay, I'm happy to have the keys. I said 20 cents. I'm not breaking the rules. Maybe acting a little bit dishonestly, but that's okay. I could just leave right now if I wanted to, but I, I sincerely want the extra red hearts. And I sincerely want the extra, you know, red heart capacity. So it'll be five more plays after this one. Like, we haven't even had a chance to win Red Hearts in, in a little while here. Work with me. Work with me, baby. Okay, okay. That's probably not what they say. If they say, uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm thinking about a pretty fly for a white guy here. You know, good, obviously, as usual, coming from the, the most noble music uh, background. And we got two more plays. This is uh, becoming mind-numbingly boring. Not afraid to say it, and cool. Fly Love. I would love to see you pay out with Fly Love, actually. That would give us double rerolls. You know what? You've earned one more try here. Uh, but after we play you here, we're going to blow you up. Oh, that could have maybe made it easier on us, but whatever. Good. That's what I wanted. One more red heart to possibly do this. And if it pays out with the IV bag, then we get a double reroll. I, I can't believe that we have not had a payout yet. Okay, so we rerolled um, the dollar in the infestation. It's possible that the dollar would have been better, but keeping in mind that I never gamble a hundred cents anyway. You know, infestation's not very good, but it's okay. We'll move on to the, what I hope is not Necropolis, part one. We'll see. Apologies to keep, uh, you know, slinking away a little bit here, but that sparkling water is so delicious. And it's not snobby sparkling water, you know, it's like 99 cents for two liters. That's not a staggering uh, value. That's tears down. So yeah, we'll take the moon card. It's not a staggering value or anything like that, but, uh, or, I mean, sorry, it is a staggering value. It's not staggeringly expensive, I should say. Before we leave this floor, I would be remiss if I didn't look for the secret room. But, uh, you know, I didn't used to like sparkling water. It was like, I didn't think it was refreshing, but now I kind of like it as a, an alternative to soda. Oh, this is maybe pretty good, actually. So, I'm glad I didn't blow up the blood bank, because we could possibly get a trinket here that would help us out. So I'll go down to 15 cents on this thing. Um, the spirit hearts, yeah, sure, they're good. But mostly I want a better trinket. A trinket that gives me a good chance to, uh... 
Red Patch doesn't really qualify it. But Trigger, that gives me a good chance to benefit from a Blood Bank. Although, even if we got Bloody Penny, we wouldn't play it because we picked up that Eternal Heart. Okay, Pinky's Eye, though. Pinky Eye, Maggie Faith is, uh, is a better combination than the Goat Hoof. Although, we are slow here. Did we get... That's Magic Mush, right? That's, we didn't pick up Lard? It's like, why are we seemingly so slow? Because we got rid of the Goat Hoof, I know, but like, why are we big and slow? I think it's Magic Mush. Anyway, this is a, this is a large floor. No question about that. So I use the Moon card right off the bat. My thinking being that maybe it'll allow me to find, yeah, a, a terminal more quickly. And thus I can kind of like base my decisions on the floor on some actual, you know, logic instead of nothing. So we'll definitely open that up. Uh, that was a little scary. And super greed, so we're not getting anything out of this boss fight. Are we going to roll with Maggie's Faith or are we going to roll with Pinky Eye in the future? I really like both trinkets. I consider both trinkets to be, you know, top tier as far as trinkets go. Maggie's Faith is better if we can keep it alive. Pinky Eye is better if we can't. So, um, you know, are we going to have enough Spirit Hearts to protect the Eternal Hearts we get? That's, uh, that's what we're going to have to wait and see, isn't it? As of right now, I'm kind of leaning towards Pinky Eye, to be honest with you. And that's going to seem ridiculous because, you know, HP versus poison damage? Obvious decision. I don't necessarily agree. I think the poison damage is, uh, is a little bit underrated, if I do say so myself. And we're only on the depths, so this should not be... Uh, an incredibly difficult floor. We're gonna reroll that quarter in case it wasn't obvious. I mean, we rerolled the dollar, so that should be pretty obvious. Um, and we can get more shop items here. Compass, probably the best thing that we could get. But uh, yeah, I'll take the nine volt too. Not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. So there's one portion of this floor taken care of already. What else do we have on the horizon here? Um, well, we'll uh, we'll go down like. From here, left and then down, that awful damage right there. It's looking increasingly likely that likely that Maggie's Faith is not going to be the trinket we want it to be. And that's my own fault, not the trinket's fault. The trinket does what the trinket does, right? I was just checking to see if this was a terminal. I would like to at least get one eternal heart out of Maggie's Faith. Like, that would basically mean that that cardboard box gave us an HP upgrade. Um, the eternal heart, remember, was dropped by Chubb, not dropped by... Uh, the cardboard box. So that would mean the cardboard box gave me more than I would normally gain from a random HP drop. And would vindicate me for always talking it up. Alright, so this room, gotta kill the brain guys first. Well, you don't have to, but it's advisable, I would suggest. Now, these guys don't chain reactions, so you gotta be a little cautious. Cautious Clay. It's the name of my um, company. They make uh, plasticine molds of boxing gloves from this famous sports memorabilia conventions. Business is booming right now. The um, plasticine models of famous boxers gloves industry is just, you never would have expected it, but it's going really strong. Who am I to talk about, you know, unconventional industries for making a living, right? Let's be honest here. Glass houses and all that. Probably, uh, you know, a little too close for comfort there. Okay, Demon Judgment and another Blood Bank. So we have to decide. Uh, whether or not we're gonna lose this eternal heart and to be honest with you I think it's best for us to sacrifice this eternal heart now I know I recently very recently said I hope we get one eternal heart out of this But we could gain so much more from demon judgment and the blood bank It's really it's like a two-for-one deal by playing demon judgment and the blood bank um, We could gain a lot more than one HP of course we could also gain nothing But we're only losing one perspective HP in the in the bargain as well, so we're gonna fight our first boss, not our second boss, which is just gonna be, you know, a little old case of Monstro 2 here, no big deal. And we'll reroll it if necessary. If not, we'll start the whole, uh, you know, Demon Judgment Blood Bank type train here. Red Hearts have been surprisingly difficult to come by so far. And that's obviously bad for business. I'm starting to think that this is probably our lowest chance to win in a little while, but I still think we're maybe above 50%. We've got a lot of time to make something happen. The, the real problem is, you know, no deals with the devil, which are the easiest ways to get, uh, or the most common ways at the very least. The easiest would just be for free and like a deal with the angel, sacred heart or something like that, or an item room with a mom's knife in it. But deals with the devil, probably the most common way that you get um, good items, or get yeah, like really good offensive items, which is kind of what we're lacking right now. Our defense is okay. All right, so demon judgment, let's do this shit. I'm ready. There goes the eternal heart and did that take a spirit heart as well, or am I crazy? Okay, the Joker is awesome for us here. That is a huge pickup. Um, I'm not sure if we can use that to teleport out of the boss fight, so I'm not going to try it. Oh, yeah, I'm taking it. I'm sorry. Uh, but th there's no way I can't take that. And then we're going to uh, the deal with the devil, and we're going to take the mark, and that's going to give us enough spirit hearts to reroll this, and then we could take Core of Babylon, but I don't think it's justifiable. Okay. 
I'm very pleased with that. If you're if you're salty that I'm picking up Brimstone, allow me to rebrand rebrand these videos as me trying to continue the streak, which is what they are, and um, then hopefully you'll understand. You know, Cobalt Streak. It's right there in his freaking name, and he takes uh, good items. Turn into Cobalt Streak. You know, I I run occasionally, and I turned into. Cobalt Streak while I was running on the treadmill a few weeks ago, and I was like, I'm gonna learn something about the Binding of Isaac. People are always telling me to watch more Cobalt Streak. I'm obviously familiar with him, and we've talked a few times in the past, but um, I was like, I'm gonna watch Cobalt Streak and learn some Binding of Isaac tactics, and I turned it on, and he'd, he'd won like 80 runs in a row or something at that point, and I was like, this is gonna be great. Like, I'm gonna learn some really useful stuff, and then he found Mom's Knife and was just like, or, you know, sorry, he found uh, Fetus in a Jar and was just like, all right, I got it. And then he won with it, and I was like, oh man, of all the runs, if I'm only going to watch one run of all the runs to watch, because uh, he just he curb stomped the rest of the game, obviously. Anyway, I'm psyched to have Brimstone. Um, you know, it, it ties into my standard Isaac rule that if you just complain long enough, eventually, usually the game will give you what you need to survive. And now we're just trying to stack up HP so we can actually uh, have the best chance possible of getting some extra HP from this blood bank. But I'll be a little cautious about it because I really don't want to ruin what is now looking like a, a pretty likely uh, winning run. No, it's not a one run yet. You're waiting for it. People holding up signs in the audience in the anticipation. Anyway, rehydration. I'm taking a break for rehydration. She's giving me the Gatorade Nation. Doesn't really make any sense. That sounds like the worst marketing campaign of all time. Also, if there's any song, like, I'm obviously not qualified to sing anything, but if there's any song I'm not qualified to sing, it's definitely good fucking vibrations. Dudes in the Beach Boys have, like, the craziest vocal range of all time. Either them or, um, you know, the kids bop sopranos. Anyway, uh, I'm, I'm low on HP to some extent. I'm not saying that in, in a way to, like, drum up some faux kind of controversy. Not, you know, the noodle soup, which I, is pronounced pho, apparently, but again, don't be a fucking douchebag and correct people when they say it. Actually, it's pronounced pho. Well, okay, actually, it's pronounced fucking, you know, Paris. Actually, it's pronounced fucking croissant, you know? Don't be that douchebag. We're not in Vietnam. We, we in English, in the English language, in every language, they change some words around and make them a little bit more, you know, obvious, obviously pronounceable for the people that are actually going to be saying it. I don't care what it's, you know, I don't care what they call a freaking cow if I'm, you know, living abroad in like Croatia or something like that. I'm going to say that's a cow and they'll be like, actually, it's a Zagreb. And I'll be like, okay, it's not going to change my brain thinking. Anyway, long story short, don't correct people when they obviously know what they're talking about. It makes you look like kind of a dingle. So we've been to both item rooms here. Uh, we have another reroll that we can use. This I, I welcome the tarot cards, and we're gonna save this judgment. We are gonna save this judgment. Why do we save the judgment? We save it because uh, we could use it on a deal with the devil room and get a free deal with the devil item. Oh snap! Okay, well, if I'm already gonna offend people by picking up brimstone, why don't we offend them doubly by picking up mom's knife, right? So now, <laughs> like, weirdly enough, yes, the run did get better. Brimstone and Mom's Knife are also, or often, I should say, sometimes treated like interchangeably as like run-winning items. But not all run-winning items are created equal, and uh, Brimstone is worse than Mom's Knife. Almost always. There are occasional rooms, like maybe even this one, for example, where Brimstone is probably a little bit better than Mom's Knife situationally. But overall, it's not even close. Mom's Knife is uh, vastly superior. So, we, uh, we're obviously in a great position. But... And you're, you're gonna think I'm just playing up for the crowd here. It really isn't a one run yet, but it will be if I can just get HP back. If I can get most of my HP back, uh, then then we're sorted pretty much. And I probably could do that just by gambling. Um, so maybe we'll we'll give that a try in the very near future here. In the very near future, I don't know why that the phrase sounded so weird to me. Or we could just gamble on this blood bank and try to be like you know really fucking ballsy about it, which is what we're gonna do because that'll be funny. And if we die, we die, right? Want to be a little bit more aggressive here. I, it's a weird case, and it happens sometimes, where I'm gambling on the blood bank to try to get HP back. Like, I'm throwing money down a well, being like, why am I so poor, basically. Uh, but, it, it makes sense. There, there are reasons. Oh, good. Yep, just blew up half of my gambling potential there. Work with me here. Like, sincerely, the, the other reason I'm still gambling here is because I refuse to believe that we can get through this run without picking up a single fucking blood bank. Or sorry, blood bag, considering how much we've gambled. It's actually comical. If you pay out with fly love, I swear to fucking god, I knew it. 
Thanks for the ladder, guy. This actually does benefit me very, very slightly. It would be the most roundabout way to get the, uh, to get the HP upgrade of all time. But now we can go pick that up. And maybe that half heart makes all the difference here, you know? It didn't. Uh, and then we can also, if we so choose, come back up here. And uh, there is another slot machine up here, but at this point, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna roll with it. And that makes things a little bit more dangerous, but it makes things a little bit more exciting as well, I think. Um, we can now open that as well. And we didn't really gain anything there. Oh well. So now do we keep Maggie's Faith or do we keep Pinky Eye? I almost think now, because our damage is so high, we actually keep Maggie's Faith, even though we don't really have many Spirit Hearts to back it up. Because Pinky Eye is not really going to benefit me that much, I think. Uh, so, yeah, weirdly enough, by getting stronger, that actually changed the, my proportional value of the trinkets, I think. So, Mom Fight. Regular version of Mom. Pretty much ideal. Um, this is the version of Mom that I would like to be fighting. Because the body segments can't shoot, they can you can kind of jut out and hit you. Sung to the tune of Shut Up and Kiss Me. No, okay, thank God for that HP upgrade. Don't give a shit about the speed upgrade. Or the shot speed upgrade, I should say. And it's uh, HP and down to the next floor. Alright, run's looking solid. Where do we go here? Things I'll take things you don't want to say to your proctologist. Or do want to say to your proctologist, I guess. For 500. And then I took Piggy's eye instead of Maggie's face. And you know what's fucked up? Is as I was doing it, I actually did think about it. And I was like, yeah, Polaroid pinky eye. That's what I want, right? What can I say? Habits are hard to break sometimes. Speaking of which, can we get the nun's habit, please? It's uh, one of the only things I could... One of the only ways I could still get hard on a run like this. When we're already doing so well. Alright. You know, we're gonna play that game, apparently. The game where uh, I don't find the boss room. Could find it over here. It's gonna cost us a lot of bombs, but so be it. Every time I say so be it, the grocery chain Sobeys pays me $500. So if you're wondering why I do that so often, it's just a you know a prudent fiscal decision, really, to put my eventual little uh, you know baby Northern Lions through college. I'm just gonna, I'm just kidding. Obviously, I'm gonna buy a boat. Um, thank God we're getting some red hearts back because I am taking some. Pretty, uh, not amazing damage right now. Not really proud of my performance on this floor. And I really want to avoid taking red heart damage because... A deal with the devil is really what makes judgment so good right here. Um, if, if we can't get a deal with the devil, there's not a whole lot of point into holding on to this judgment card. Doesn't mean the judge... I don't want to talk about that one. Doesn't mean the judgment card is not worth anything. It's just worth more, on average, if we can get a deal with the devil. Luck down. Nah, well, if you're gonna get anything down, that's pretty much what you want. Uh, so, we have a... Uh, sorry, so be it. Um, we have a, a curse room here. I don't want to go to... I, I do want to go to the curse room. Come on, there we go. Um, why even worry about that penny? But I do want to go to the curse room, but I don't want to go until after we fight the boss to maximize our um, deal with the devil potential. And if we lose this one at this point, it's a throw. And, um, it's not a gargantuan throw. There's been bigger throws. You know, this is not quite 50 cent at the, you know, throwing out the first pitch at the New York Mets game or something like that, but it would be, um, you know, it would be a little bit of a throw at the very least. Guts should not be standing up to one full shot at this point. That's my opinion on this matter. We do have a one-up, by the way. That's, that's important for us as well, but first things first. We're fighting death. We're getting a cube of meat. You know... Cube of meat is rarely what you need by this point in the game, but I'm happy to have it. It'll dodge or it'll block some extra bullets for me. It's probably worth a little bit more than an HP upgrade at this point, honestly. It'll probably save me more than that. So sure, we got that. Now we go to our curse room. We can go to our curse room at least. We we don't have to. I'm gonna though because I think we can use judgment in our curse room and then get uh, an item as well. Of course, it's demon judgment. And I, I made a stupid mistake, because you can actually play him twice for one health. Um, is that a full health pill? Bombs are key. What the fuck? I'm going for broke here. Come on, Demon Judgment. Work with me, you cocksucker. Well, okay, do I kill myself? I'm gonna get hurt walking out. I might as well try to get the item. <sighs> Displeased. Why would I take 33 keys? But I'm not walking back into that room. Okay, we're still in a good position. I'm just... I'm, I'm not even mad at myself. 
I'm still just kind of incredulous. I'm mostly looking at the situation going, how is it possible that we've given HP to so many things and so few of them have actually panned out in our favor? Blood banks, demon judgments. They've been, um, they've been pretty wild so far. Pretty wildly terrible. Much like wild and crazy kids. No, I'm just joking. You know, if anything's going to garner me hatred in this video beyond uh, actively killing myself on that demon judgment, it will, of course, be uh, insulting a Nickelodeon's kids' TV show um, from roughly 22 years ago. Uh, Wild and Crazy Kids is okay. There, I said it. Nope. All right, almost probably should have been hit there, if I'm being 100% uh, honest or 100% orange juice. I think we may lose this run, and I think if we do, it'll be entirely because I'm a dumb idiot. Lucky Toe is not what we want. We will try, like, a little bit of a takes two to tango here. Didn't find the secret room. I mean, we know the secret room's there. Uh, we might as well look into it, because it could be the Onk or something. Or Raw Liver. Or uh, the Unicorn Horn, which we could turn into the Onk or Raw Liver. Either of which would be super valuable. Um, wow, we got the one up again. That is weird, uh, but... I like it. And you could do something clever here. And, uh, you know, actually, let's not say clever, because clever implies that it's actually a sound, you know, decision for us as well. Um, let's say cute. We can make a cute decision here and, uh, you know, hurt ourselves a lot to try to get into that boss trap room in the hopes of getting a half decent item uh, from the boss trap room. But I think that is way more trouble than it would be worth. I think we would probably end up uh, finding ourselves in a worse position as a result. I don't necessarily, again, need to min-max at this point, but it doesn't hurt. I'm not, um, I'm not in an unlosable situation. That's fine. We gained as much as we lost, but we actually stayed at a half heart interval, which is fine. And yeah, I, th I think it makes more sense to have this many bombs. So. Oh, yeah, that was, um, that was bad damage on my part. Let's check out our library. I was thinking, yeah, maybe we could just get this to back us up. And considering we already have a reroll, why don't we just take the, the Book of Belial in here? Like, this seems really smart to me. And we'll, we'll get the uh, the D6 before we leave. But we'll take Book of Belial in uh, just to do as much damage as is humanly possible to Mom. Uh, and it, it should be an awful lot. Like, this, sh this should make my life way easier, I think. Oh, okay. Awful damage there. And I, I took myself off of a half-heart interval. But that's okay, because there's another half-heart, like, a, a couple of rooms ago. And there's a full one right there. Okay. Good, good, good. Um, we're, we're fine, you know. Could be better, but we're fine. And we're not going to the boss trap room anytime soon, so let's just enjoy life as it sits. We've got another 1-up, which, I'm not going to lie to you, is incredibly lucky. It's super lucky that we got that 1-up. That second 1-up. But uh, it is worth noting that if we didn't have that first 1-up, I wouldn't have played Demon Judgment probably at all. But certainly, guaranteed, I wouldn't have uh, ruined our half-heart interval. Uh, would not have played it as aggressively. So it's not like I just made a dumb decision and was saved by the 1-up. I made that decision having the 1-up in mind. I'm not playing super well here, but keep in mind, you know, my range is a little diminished, uh, which is why Pinky Eye is actually working out all right for us, too. But that's why I am, um, you know, taking some damage or have a better chance of taking damage against some of these enemies. Is this the right way? Did we choose? The no, we chose the wrong way. It's fine. It is. It is fine. Uh, I can't imagine us not at least making it to the chest. And once you make it to the chest, there's myriad kind of outs for you. Um, you know, health from gluttony, tarot cards from sloth. And that could actually end up helping us out on this very floor as well. But yeah, there's... It, the, the chest is no question the hardest floor in the game. But it does also have the most possible kind of like intermediate to advanced level strategies that I know um, to, to improve your chances. So we did get a full health there, which is exactly what I needed. Could have skipped a couple of rooms here by... Um... Yeah, there we go. Could have skipped a couple of rooms by going to the secret room, but kind of wanted to go to all these rooms just in case. You never know what we might end up getting. Like that golden chest, for example. With this many bombs, I think it's okay to try to snag this golden chest, too. It's going to take us a, a lot of uh, effort. And it probably won't pay out. There's, you know, plenty of documented evidence about this gambit not paying out for me. But when it works, I feel really smart. There we go. And it sort of worked. I'm not even going to try to walk over to get that key. Um, that would just... 
caused me to get hurt. That's a fucking trap. I've been, I've seen that trap before. I've fallen victim to that trap many a time. Good, more keys. And you're dead. You also may be deceased. Rest in peace. Terrible damage. Totally my fault. Um, yeah, two keys at this point of the game. I think it's okay. Shitty tarot card. Oh well, though. Alright, so this is a little bit of a moment of truth. We should be fine. Sincerely. We, we could conceivably not get hit at all in this fight. Our damage is good enough, you know, we're not taking a lot of shots, or not forcing a lot of shots from Isaac. Um, we're, it's one of those runs, and I've, I mentioned this uh, kind of paradigm, uh, you know, not recently, but in, in videos in the past, that, you know, there's some runs that are more suited to the final bosses and terrible in the rooms leading up to them, and then there's some runs that are more suitable for the rooms leading up to them, but terrible on the final bosses. We're lucky enough to have one that's terrible on the rooms leading up, but uh, great on the final bosses themselves. So, Mr. Mega's awesome. Lard is awesome. These other items. You know, tarot cards. The chariot's really nice. Spectral tears are worthless. Um, bum friend, and that is not what I want at all. So we're a little slower now, so we've got to watch out for things like blue spikes. Uh, and, you know, we didn't really pick up the, you know, the items that do gangbusters for us at this point. You know, higher damage items, stuff like that. But um, we improved ourselves. As long as we go into the uh, blue baby fight and we have like four HP left, I think we're pretty much sorted. Um, this is a chariot room. Definitely, yeah. I uh, I think that was, there's no question in my mind that that was the right decision, otherwise I would have taken like four hits there. And if we go in with the one up, it's, it's guaranteed more or less. In my opinion at least. Poison bombs, yeah dude. Now we've got, you know, poison homing uh, mega bombs. We got all the bomb. Uh, modifiers. Feels good. We only have one golden chest uh, back there, so maybe we can get one in here. Seems like we're not getting greed as much in there lately. Or a slot machine. It's like the one floor where you actually want more than anything else, just like a fortune teller or a slot machine. Uh, so I want to I want to kill Pestilence first, but he's not making it too easy on me. There we go. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. That was dumb. It was just a dumb decision on my part. Yeah, it should have hit me, probably. Good, you're dead. You're not gonna be too far behind. Thank God we got this second one up. Otherwise, I'd be shitting bricks right now. Possibly. Not literally, that would be... You know, things you don't want to say to your proctologist, right? Callbacks! Now, if that boss ends up being closest to the spawn room, I wouldn't say I'm gonna be mad. But I would be less happy than I have been at the happiest moments in my life. Um, sure, we don't have any need for that. You know what? Fuck it. Rather than re-rolling that one pedestal, I'm just gonna move forward. It's a, it's a cocky decision, and it's unlikely uh, to benefit me, but it's fairly unlikely to hurt me as well, which is why I ended up taking it, because it's the lazy man's way out, right? Why do something unless it's guaranteed to be good for me? We're gonna use the lover's card here, because I think this can make my survival chances higher. Um, Best play is to, you know, if we're min-maxing, save it until, um, later. But, whatever. There goes the lover's card, by the way. What do we got? Oh, snap! Polyphemus! There goes my hero. Watch him as he goes. Thank God, um, we got Polyphemus, otherwise this room might well have killed us. Is this the boss room? It is. Oh, it is the boss room. It's Polyphemus. Oh, watch it as it Polyphemus is. It doesn't really make any sense, but, you know, I'm I'm just jazzed, man. I'm using all of my strong language. Jazzed. Oh, snap. Psych. It's the, whole, the holy trinity right there. Oh, my God. And even an all stats up, which I should have waited to take, but whatever. We got the one up. Uh, we might even win without having to use the one up, which is kind of comical. Yeah, okay, so we got carried at the end there. We got carried through a lot of that run, but it's another victory nonetheless, so I'm psyched. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the run, click the like button. It helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. You know what? I'm coining it. Streak Part 3. Throw your hands in the air if you're a true player. As always, I'll see you next time.